In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a master node locally on a Windows machine and I'm using Windows 7 for this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new address to send our 10,000 transfer coins to. So I'm going to click on receive and you can use this default address um, we can give it a label but I'm going to create a new one and I'm just going to call this uh, master underscore 01 and I'm just going to click OK. So now that we have our address we need to right click on it and copy the address and we need to send 10,000 transfer coins from wherever you have 10,000 coins. For this video I have 10,000 on Bitrix, on the Bitrix exchange so we'll send 10,000 from there to the wallet. So once you're in Bitrix and you have your coins, we'll come over to the wallet and I've got the transfer coins here and I'm just going to click on the minus sign and I'm going to paste in that address and the quantity, I need to make sure that if I put in just 10,000 you'll notice that it's going to take a fee, okay, so you need to allow for that fee. So if I click on that um, uh, it will, you'll see down here now it says exactly 10,000 okay you have to make sure that it's exactly 10,000 okay so I have this on 2FA so I'm going to click on withdraw and then I'm going to put in my uh, authentication code which is let's have a look 338944 uh, I'm going to withdraw that. Okay, so that's been withdrawn. Now we will go back to the wallet. Okay, so we have received the 10,000. Now, if you just put your uh, mouse up and just roll over, where is it? Uh, well, you can see it there, but if I just roll over here, you'll notice that it's unconfirmed. Okay, so now we want to make sure that it has had enough confirmations uh, before we proceed any further. So I will pause this video and then I will come back. Uh, you can see here now it's got 1 of 10. Okay, so we'll do 15 just to make sure of it. So I'll pause the video and I'll come back when I have 15 confirmations. Okay, so once you have enough confirmations, if I roll over here you can see I've got 22 which is ample. Uh, the next thing we need to do is encrypt the wallet. So come up to settings and then encrypt wallet. Put something decent in here uh, and make sure you back this up in a couple of different places. And then just repeat it down here. Okay, and click on OK. And what will happen is it looks like it's going to lock, but it won't. Just leave it. Just just let it do its own thing, and it will throw a pop-up, and then you can close it. Okay, so just be patient. Be patient. It's coming. It's nearly there. And boom. Okay, so just click OK. And now we need to reopen it. Okay, so now that we have it encrypted, there are a couple of IP addresses that we need to get. One is for your internal machine IP, and one is your external IP. And you are going to need the internal IP for port forwarding, and you're going to need the external IP for your configuration file. So let's do that first. The first thing we'll do is we will sort out the port forwarding. Now to port forward you'll have to access your modem uh, or your router 
Now, you do this through the browser, and you can see up here it's just a uh, the local address, the internal IP. Now, every modem will be different, so the only way really to find this out is to Google it, and just Google your, uh, go and have a look and see what your modem is, and just Google it, and it will let you know. You probably already have the admin and password uh, when you set it up, so once you're in the modem, then all you need to do is find your virtual servers port forwarding or just port forwarding and then you need to add a new one you can see here that i already have the transfer coin port forwarded i also have another one exclusive coin so all you need to do basically is just add a new one put in a description here um, so you know like i put in transfer coin and then the inbound port to the you know to the um the, this is the range okay so what I've done is I've just added you need this one which is 17170 uh, one, you need this one and I've just put in a range in there just because I felt like it <laughs> um, and I've put in uh, 175 okay and now TCP I've put in both okay um, you might have the option for one or the other but I've put in both and then here where it's just your private IP address this is just your local address now, if you don't know how to get this, you don't know how to find this out, all you need to do is go down to start and type in here CMD, CMD, okay, and that will bring up this, your con your console, your commands console, which you know I'm not too good at, but anyway, <laughs> I'll show you how to do this. So all you have to do is, is type in IPCON. FIG IP config and click and hit enter okay and then for me um, mine is right here okay so 192 it's the IPv4 address 192.168.09 and you can see that I've put that up here under the private IP address which is right here okay so that's where I would put it I would put in here 192 um, and then in here 168 um, and then 0 and then 9 okay now your local port this one here um, 2 is the same as above okay so you can just copy this and put that in there and then put that in there okay and then you just add that to your port forwarding okay so that's all you need to do um, for your port forwarding Next, we'll have a look at getting your external IP. Okay, so to find your external IP, all you need to do is come up and go to whatsmyip.org, okay? And I can't show you what mine is, but it will show yours uh, right around here, okay? So once you've got that, just make sure that you write it down or, or paste it into Notepad, okay? As well as your internal IP. So now you've got both IPs, now we'll have a look at uh, the configuration file. So now that we have our internal and our external IP, and we also know what the port forwarding number is, we need one more thing, and that is the master node uh, key. So the way that we do that, the way that we get that, is we come up to the help tab and we click on the debug window. Okay, now come to console and in here we need to type master node and then space and then G E N key E Y okay for gen key and then click enter okay and that will display your key now what you need to do is you need to copy this okay and you need to come over to the configuration file which is what I have here now I will leave this in the description so you can just copy it and paste it straight into your configuration file okay so uh, what we need to do is we need to paste in the uh, masternode private key um, I actually copied all of that little piece too so I'll just take that back and then I'll just cut this and paste it where it needs to be okay so I'll just put that in there okay now the master node you can see here we have master node address okay so that is your external 
IP address, okay, and also the port that you've used to port forward, which was the 17170. So I have it. I have just a example IP address here. Um, yours, you know, will look a little bit different depending on what you got when you went to what is my IP. So I'm just going to paste that in here. So you can see this part here is your IP that you would have got when you went to what is my IP, and then you got to put in the uh, column here, and then this is the port that you when you port forwarded. This is the port. Okay, so you put in that in there. All right now up the top here where you have RP user uh, RPC user you can just type in anything in here it can be whatever you want and the same with the password put anything you want and that's it okay and then that's the configuration file done you might need a few no no nodes as, nodes as well um, which I will also leave in the description um, I'll just grab them from over here and you can just paste those anywhere in here as well Okay, all right just like that. So this is the configuration file All right now that is actually located in the directory where um, Transfer coin is installed. All right now if you're not sure where that is if you come to um, just put in the percentage sign, then app data, in the percentage sign, backslash. Um, let me just make sure I've got that right. Okay, so that's in your roaming. Um, I think. Is it? Yeah, it's down here somewhere. Um, down here, where are we? Do, 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 do. Transfer, okay. So let me just pull that across here. Okay. So you can see here is the transfer configuration file, okay. So all you would do is you would navigate to here, okay. App data roaming transfer. You will open this. I'm not going to open this because it's got all my sensitive data in it. It's got all the passwords and my correct IP address. Um, you would open this and with a notepad, and then you would put all this information inside this configuration file. Okay, now you can do this when the wallet's open or when it's closed. It doesn't matter. But if you do do it, if you do do this while the wallet's open, be sure to close your wallet and then reopen it so that it takes on the uh, settings. Okay, so that is the configuration file. Next, we'll have a look at actually starting this baby up. Okay, I forgot to mention that when you do edit your transfer config uh, file, just make sure that you come up to file and save. Okay, uh, otherwise when you open the wallet, uh, there'll be nothing in here. Okay, just to make those changes. Okay, so once we have that all done, the next thing to do is to start this masternode. Now, um, let's just hope this works. Uh, if we've done all the steps right, um, we shouldn't have any problems. So the way that we do that is we come to Help, Debug Window, Console. Now in here we need to uh, type in uh, blah, 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 masternode start masternode and then space and then start and then what you need to do is you need to type in your uh, passphrase that you used when you encrypted the wallet okay so um, mine is uh, hold on let me just remember what it is can make sure you got that space after start Okay, right, let's see if this is going to work, and then you just need to hit enter, and there we go, successfully started masternode, and that's it, and you are good to go. 
So that is how you do it locally. Now if you've got any questions, be sure to ask below um, and I'll help you the best I can.